Tuesday, Tuesday. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This you can just take. Okay, okay. I hear you. Yep. It's been basically life update right here now. So I had to take a pause from YouTube because I just wanted to really focus in on schoolwork. I have been getting a heavy nudge to just create and when you avoid that nudge for so so long as a creative person it only increases if you know you know until you get ready one day <laughs> set up the camera again and just go to town and film so remember to subscribe hit that subscribe button down below and hit the like button you know I'm, i know you're already loving it so hit the like button as you guys can see by the title we are talking big magic by elizabeth gilbert do you have the courage to bring forth the hidden treasures that are within you. Each of us, we're here for a purpose, we're here for a reason. Within us, we have hidden treasures, be it as small as a mustard seed, to bring forth if we want to, to the world and for the world to consume. So with this, you can either be a creative, a consumer, or both, because honestly, life is what you make it. Being a creative, you will therefore be creating works for other people to consume and enjoy. And then a consumer is just someone that would, you know, take in all of those wonderful works. And then being both is the best of both worlds in my eyes. I find myself to be both a creative, I'm creating content for you guys right now, as well as a consumer where I take in, you know, music from different artists, consumer of the world, the creatives are here for you. And if you are a creator, you are here to create, just build, use your skills, use your talents, use your passions to just create anything, okay? And this brings me into my next point that if you have the courage or the ability or the drive to use your hidden treasures, you will be a creator. And I just want to really focus on the fact that Gilbert makes it so clear that anyone, literally anyone can be a creator. Like you do not need the permission of anyone to be a creator. As long as you wake up today and say that, you know, I am going to create a scrapbook, you're a creator. If you want to wake up today and say, I want to take some shots, you're a photographer. Do not wait for the world or people around you to accept your title. Do not wait for them to give you your title. You claim it. This is me. I'm an artist. I'm a photographer. I'm a builder. I'm a painter. So with that, I'm speaking specifically to what Gilbert is talking about in her book big magic so i'm not speaking about you know the grand scheme of things because there can be many other things that you can define yourself to be ideas are alive and this may arguably be like the main thing that i took from the book so gilbert essentially tells the story about how she had an idea to write a book and when she met for coffee with one of her colleagues one day she had not i think she didn't start the book or maybe she had started but she didn't finish like it was in a published you know piece let's of work the story was about moon walking on the moon let's say the story was about that and she wrote the book you know paragraphs paragraphs deep basically and one day she met up with one of her colleagues at a coffee um at a coffee shop and she said that months later after that meeting her colleague came out with a book and it was literally identical to the storyline in which she was trying to produce she just wasn't able to produce it ideas are alive means that an idea that pops into your head is a living thing and it's very fanciful to think about but just just bear with me essentially an idea looks for a host gilbert suggests that would work with it develop it and produce it to the world be it a painting a book a, a product that was launched and sold in stores the reason why this really hit home for me is gonna sound crazy but when i read Joba's story i was like sis how but i had to create a business for um one of my courses in my undergrad so i got the idea to create a uh, native box i'm from the Bahamas, if you don't know i just moved away from that idea because it just seemed too cumbersome i kid you not literally a few weeks later someone in the bahamas had launched a business where it when i tell you it was the exact kind of offering i was just like whoa first of all and second of all like okay could this be something that we consider whereas when an idea comes to us we should collaborate with it we should allow it to foster we should bring it forth to the world because 
it might just find another host so that it could still be created. Like I said, it's a fanciful thing to think about, but it's an interesting concept that Gilbert brings forth. In pursuing whatever fascinates you, I would honestly urge you, just as Gilbert did in her book Big Magic, to live creatively beyond fair. Do not allow for fair to keep you in your shell. Start that business. Write that book. Go to the beach and take some candid shots. Do anything that you just are fascinated in that you've been waiting for a particular time to get out and go and do it. Time waits for no man. That is a true, true phrase. And in the in the era of you know the situation that's going on around the world where people are you know having to stay indoors, time waits for no man. You have to live every day and live it with fulfillment. Wonder, curiosity, and the unknown are the things that I think and in agreement with Gilbert truly shapes who you are and who you continue to develop to be. Being here is proof that you have something left to bring forth, something left to develop. It doesn't matter if it is something that you think now is insignificant. Just because you have that idea within you and you have that that thing that you want to do, that that thing that fascinates you, get out and develop it. Get out and do it. Try to create some iterations of that idea so you can see it in true color. This is not something that's just easy to do because not everyone has the abilities to do things like this. Not everyone has the know-how to be able to, you know, create certain things that they want to create. So I would definitely say start networking in different areas. Definitely, you know, network yourself into a collaboration with someone. So that is all I have to say about this book, Big Magic. Live creatively be unfair. Comment down below which was one of your favorite points that I would have brought up. Comment down below if you read the book. Comment down below anything and everything, okay? I'm here to talk. Let's chat. Keep on coming back every single Tuesday as that is the day that I'll be uploading, as you know. For Kendra Take Tuesdays is still a thing. Like, we gotta, you know, bring that back. Bring that back heavy. I'm just releasing it all. I'm just giving you all what you want. Tuesdays at 8.